in this video we are going to solve four problems problem number one problem number two problem number three and problem number four all these four problems are related to the power system stability analysis in all these four problems we will find out the transfer reactance between the generator and infinite bus so let us start with the problem number one let me tell you in the beginning of the video that problem number one and problem number two is a very easy problem maybe you will feel some difficulty in problem number three and in problem number four if you are able to solve these two problems then I think there is no need to uh, listen this video so let me start with problem number one here we want to find out the transfer reactance between the generator and infinite bus to find out the transfer reactance first we will make the per unit reactance diagram so I am going to make the per unit reactance diagram this is the internal EMF of the generator the generator reactance is J.2 the transmission line reactance is J.3 this is the infinite bus which is connected at the end of the transmission line I am going to make the infinite bus in this way this is the infinite bus the voltage of the infinite, infinite bus is V infinity the definition of the transfer reactance is the total reactance between the internal EMF of the generator and the infinite bus voltage is called the transfer reactance between the generator and infinite bus problem number one is very very easy and you can see that the net reactance between the internal EMF of the generator and the infinite bus voltage is J.2 plus J.3 which will be equal to J.5 per unit so first problem is solved and the transfer reactance between the generator and infinite bus is J.5 per unit now we are going to solve problem number two again we have to find out the transfer reactance to find out the transfer reactance first we will make the per unit reactance diagram the reactance of the generator is J.2 the internal EMF of the generator is E this is bus bar number one between bus bar number one and two there are two transmission lines the first transmission line is having reactance of J.3 the second transmission line is having reactance of J.3 the infinite bus is connected to bus bar number 2 I am going to make the infinite bus in this way the infinite bus voltage is V infinity now according to the definition of the transfer transfer reactance the net reactance we have to calculate the net reactance between the internal EMF of the generator and the infinite bus voltage you can see that these two reactances are in parallel so the equivalent reactance will be J.15 this is the generator reactance J.2 the internal EMF of the generator is E and you can make here the infinite bus and you can easily find out the net reactance between E and V infinity so the net reactance will be 0.2 plus J.15 which is equal to J.35 per unit so the transfer reactance for the given power system network between the generator and infinite bus is J.35 per unit In problem number 3, a three phase fault occurs at the midpoint of the transmission line number 2. This TL1 is the transmission line number 1 and TL2 I have written here uh, which is the symbol of transmission line number 2. So according to the question, a three phase fault occurs at the midpoint of the transmission line number 2. And during the fault we have to calculate the transfer reactance between the generator and the infinite bus 
To solve this problem, first we will make the per unit reactance diagram of the given power system network. In this way, you can draw the per unit reactance diagram. According to the question, the fault occurs at the midpoint of the transmission line number 2. So we need to divide the reactance into two equal parts. So I have divided 0.3 into two equal parts, 0.15 and 0.15. And this is the location of the fault. The fault occurs here. This is the faulty point. Faulty point. I can make the diagram again. Again I have made the diagram. The fault occurs at the midpoint of the transmission line number 2. You can see that this reactance is directly connected to the zero power bus and this reactance also is connected to the zero power bus directly. You can make the diagram in another way also. See J0.15 is connected to the zero power bus and this J0.15 is connected to the zero power bus in this way. This is the star connected network. You can convert it into the delta connected network. While converting the star connected network into delta connected network, there is no need to find out the value of X23 and X31 because we have to find out the net reactance between E and V infinity. Yes, listen to me carefully. This is the zero power bus. The potential of the zero power bus is zero volt. So this point will be at zero volt. This point will be at E volt. This point will be at zero volt. This will be at V infinity volt. This will be at V infinity volt. This will be at V infinity volt. So the net reactance between E and V infinity is X12 which I have to calculate. Transfer reactance is the net reactance or total reactance between E and V infinity. So X12 is the transfer reactance. Therefore we will calculate X12 and we will not calculate X23 and X31. X12 can be calculated in this way. X12 is this reactance. X12 can be calculated as this reactance plus this reactance plus this into this divided by this reactance. You can see X12 is J.2 plus J.3 plus J.2 into J.3 divided by J.15. Now after calculation you will get X12 as J0.9. So the transfer reactance during the fault between the generator and infinite bus will be J0.9. In problem number 4 again we have to find out the transfer reactance. If you read the part A of the question it says that a shunt reactor of reactance 0.15 per unit is connected at the midpoint of the transmission line. So this is the transmission line and at the midpoint of the transmission line a shunt reactor is connected and then we have to find out the transfer reactance between the generator and infinite bus. First we will make the per unit reactance diagram of the given power system network. So this is the per unit reactance diagram. At the midpoint of the transmission line we have to connect a shunt reactor. So I have divided this, resist, uh, this reactance into two equal parts. So point 0.3 will be divided into two equal parts. So this point is the midpoint of the transmission line. Here at this point I have to connect a shunt reactor of reactance 0.15 per unit. And then I have to calculate the transfer reactance between the generator and infinite bus. So you can see that this 0.2 and 0.15 per unit reactance these two reactances are in series so you can do the sum 0.2 plus 0.15 it will become 0.35 and you can convert this star connected network into a delta connected network 
and you will get this type of network after converting this star connected network into a delta connected network you can easily find out the value of x12, x23 and x31 but I think there is no need to calculate x23 and x31 see this is the zero power bus the potential which is available at zero power bus is zero volt if this line is at zero volt this point will also be at zero volt the potential of this point will be E the potential of this point will be E if you move in this way this point will be at zero volt this point will be at potential V infinity and this point will be at potential V infinity you can easily see that the net reactance between E and V infinity is X12 so if you know the value of X12 that will be your answer so no need to calculate X23 and X31 when you are converting the star network into the delta network so easily you can, you, if you know uh, the network analysis uh, you can convert the star connected network into delta connected network you know the formula you can write the formula x12 is this reactance so x12 is this reactance plus this reactance plus this into this divided by this so I have written this formula and you will get the value of x12 and this x12 is the transfer reactance between the generator and infinite bus when a sunt reactor is connected at the midpoint of the transmission line so we have solved first part of problem number four now we are going to solve part B of problem number four it says that a sunt capacitor of 0.15 per unit reactance is connected at the midpoint of the transmission line this is the transmission line at, and at the midpoint we have to connect a sunt capacitor and then we have to find out the transfer reactance between the generator and infinite bus for solving this problem first we will make the per unit reactance diagram this is the transmission line the reactance of the transmission line is J.3 we can divide this reactance into two equal parts to find out the midpoint of the transmission line this is the midpoint of the transmission line and at the midpoint we have to connect a sunt capacitor of reactance minus J 0.15 see these two reactances are in series so the equivalent will be J 0.35 and we can convert this star connected network into a delta connected network which can be drawn in this way so I have, con I have converted this star connected network into a delta connected network this is the zero power bus the potential of, it, of the zero power bus is zero volt it will be zero volt this point will be at the potential E this point will be at zero volt this will be at potential V infinity this point will be at potential V infinity so you can see that the net reactance which is available between E and V infinity is X12 so there is no need to calculate X31 and X23 so how to calculate X12 X12 is present here so X12 can be written as this reactance plus this reactance plus this into this divided by this so I have written this formula you can find out the value of x12 which will be j 0.15 per unit and you can say that the transfer reactance when a sunt capacitor is connected at the midpoint of the transmission line will be j 0.15 per unit so in this way we have solved four problems problem number one problem number two problem number three and problem number four